Here we can see a hospital ship at uh, Ocean Village, the outer dock, unloaded wounded. Obviously, no description of D-Day and Operation Overlord can overlook the casualties that occurred as a result of the action. And uh, it's estimated that four and a half thousand um, allied, there were four and a half thousand allied deaths and about four thousand to eight thousand enemy deaths. And you can see why that um, Ocean Village was chosen because of the rail link to get the wounded to a uh, hospital as quickly as possible. Here's a landing ship tank arriving at um, Embarkation Hard S3, that's outside the platform tavern. This is what it looks like today. Today you can't get directly from the uh, uh, platform tavern to the water. There are offices in between. Here we can see a tug pushing the LST against the dolphins so that the um, LST berths correctly ashore. Those are um, wounded on the embarkation hard and that's what uh, it looks like today at that area. And this is what it looked like in 1944. Here are more wounded and uh, they're being loaded onto an ambulance taken down um, Canute Road and in a moment you'll see Winkle Street in the background. And as we move further down the um, coast along Canute Road we come to the uh, Royal Pier and we see more landing ship tanks uh, unloading the wounded. Landing ship tanks could have uh, a, a small surgical unit on board, they were big enough, but of course once uh, they had the surgical unit, that, that because they were combatant craft, they couldn't have the Red Cross and they were legitimate targets. When the troops arrived, uh, the wounded arrived, they usually had two stages of triage, holding units at docks and hards, provided surgical treatment to men tagged on the LSTs by doctors. The rest went directly to transit hospitals, for example, in the trains or in the ambulances. These transit hospitals were usually about 15 to 30 miles inland. From there, they would go on to a general hospital for definitive treatment if they needed it. But in the first days of combat, when the beachhead was shallowest, holding units and transit hospitals took on many of the functions of the divisional clearing stations. However, they still managed to keep the flow of wounded to the large hospital centres in the north and west of England uh, flowing.